This is all about how to resize a canvas in Affinity Designer. Now, not the document, mind you, but the canvas, and that will come up in a moment. The first thing you have to do is open Affinity Designer on your iPad. And I note this is for the iPad, not the desktop. On the desktop, things are a little bit different. So open Designer and open an existing project. We're not worried about creating a new document at the moment because if you create a new document, then obviously um, you'll know what size you want the um, canvas to be. And you can change that later by this method. So open an existing project. And you can see I've got a project open there. Now, if you inadvertently have your project selected, that is the bounding boxes around it, make sure it's deselected. And you do that with the little cross that's down the bottom there. You see you've got a rubbish bin, the snap icon, and the cross. Just tap the cross if you're selected. Or you can go to the command menu and deselect but it's easier just to press the X now the next thing you want from the document icon select resize the context toolbar will appear on the lower part of the screen you can see it there and it defaults to document now we don't want to change the document size from whatever it's was set to we're just changing the canvas that you're working on and you can see it says document, but if you scroll that, if you tap on that, it's it's got a scroll option and you go to canvas. So select canvas in the context toolbar. You can see it there. And adjust the sizes, the width and the height. And you can see I've got the aspect ratio held on there. So in effect, you only need to adjust the width or the height. The other one will adjust according to the aspect ratio. Adjust the width and or height to the desired values. If you leave the aspect selected, the aspect ratio will be kept. So 1080 by 720 pixels is the default there, the canvas size. Once you're happy with the dimensions, tap apply. The canvas will be resized and you'll think, OMG, the picture's massive. Ah, that's because it's a little confused about where it's supposed to be. Because the canvas behind it will be the new size. So you have to drag the image boundaries to match the canvas. And you know how to do that. Uh, a two finger drag in, make sure you've got the move um, icon selected. And eventually you'll see one of the sides of the canvas. And so you tap on those and drag them into the right size. And it will look a bit like that as you bring it down. You can see the canvas has been resized. That's the white hat cross hatching there. And I've begun to bring the image in to the same size. But it brings it in proportionately, remember, because you left aspect ratio on. So you bring it in till the image boundaries match the canvas. And there we have it. Results of the canvas being resized and then the layers resized by dragging the handles to fit the canvas. Now, if you've got more than one layer, make sure all the layers are selected before you try to resize the image. If you've messed it up, go back, do it again. Because you could drag the background to the right size and leave behind the other two groups. And then you'll end up with a very strange looking picture. And that's just about it. Experiment with a blank document and you'll see how some of that works. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it if you do. Um, subscribe, tap the bell so you're notified of uh, future videos. And what a lot of people forget, including myself, tap the like thumb as well. Thanks for watching.